what's up welcome to the video got another rewatch config for you if you don't know what rewatch is it's a program that allows you to map your controller or mouse you can change your mouse into a controller to get the aim assist that controller users have you can do macros works with regular controller works with mouse and keyboard it's a great program you can get the program at readwasd.com the config will be linked in the description below also, if you need help with setup, there'll be a video linked in the description below that shows setup, help you get set up properly. It's important for the configs to work. And if you need help or anything, my Discord will also be linked in the description below. It's a great place to share your configs, find configs, ask questions. I'm usually available unless I'm asleep. So come by, ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask for help if you need anything. Like I said, config will be linked in the description below. Before we jump into the game, I use 1600 DPI and 1000 polling rate on my mouse. You can raise this. I've used the configs with up to 3200. Some people like even more sometimes. It's all preference, so get in there, fill it out, whatever works for you. These configs are going to be similar to my last configs. There's two of them. One has WASD movement. There's no left stick added to the keyboard movement, so you'll get the keyboard movement. And it, it, there's also less aim assist. So some people don't like the aim assist slowdown being so strong. So that config is going to be the best if it's too strong for you. And then the other one is a full remap where you get the full aim assist. If you want to understand more of this, you can go check out my last video. I'll link it in the description below also. They're going to be very similar, but I've changed the sensitivity a bit because it felt a little bit slower this season. And also some things have changed with the buy station. And I'll go over that after the settings. When I, I jump in game, I'll land on a buy station and go over what the changes are to the buy station. You can now, if you wanted, you can toggle off and use your regular mouse to loot if you add a button for it. If you need help with setup, go watch the video for setup and then come back to this video. But yeah, let's hop in game, go over the settings. All right, now that we're in game, you want to come to the settings. First thing you want to come to is graphics. You want to make sure you click view. And on field of view, set to 120. You can lower this, but it may affect the combos, the recoil combo and the, the sticky aim macro that's in the config. But I just leave it on 120. This is what I use. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to come to controller. Horizontal stick sensitivity, I have set to 3.9. Vertical stick sensitivity, 3.9. You can raise this up to 4 if you want. It's not that big of a difference. This is just what I have it set as. Dead zone inputs, this is one of the most important settings. You want your left stick min at 0, left stick max. This can be set at whatever. I just use this on regular controller, so I leave it. So when I switch, I can just change my sensitivities and curve. Right stick max 99, you can set this to 100. If you lower it, it could help you turn a little bit faster. But if you lower it too much, it might feel a little awkward. So just test that out. Whatever you want to set it as is good. Left trigger, right trigger 0. Aiming tab, sensitivity multiplier, pull the drop down, ADS sensitivity multiplier. My last config, it was 1.65, but I raised it to 2 because it felt a little better. Uh, aiming advanced settings, I'm going to click this, and then the curve type I have set to linear. And then aim response curve slope scale set to 0.5. Dynamic is good too. It works fine on dynamic. You want to test the dynamic. Movement. This is how I set my sprint assist. Slide and dive behavior, I set to tap the slide. Movement advanced settings, if you want to follow this stuff. And then combat tab. There's a couple settings here that are really important. Combat advanced settings. Interact and reload behavior, you want to set to one of the prioritize settings. This makes it where both buttons are tapped unless they are available together. And overlay advanced setting. You want to set inventory control to directional buttons. If you set it to stick now, since they changed the buy station, you're, you won't be able to select the loadout sometimes and it'll be all wonky. So yeah, you want to make sure you're set to directional buttons. This is by, on by default. If you had it set to stick before and you're having issues, set to directional buttons, it should fix your issue. All right, and that's it for the settings. We're, I'm going to go into uh, Resurgence Casual, and I'm going to show you how the buy station works now and how you can toggle off and use the mouse if you want. If you wanted to act, add an extra key to toggle off and use regular mouse in the buy station, you can do that. So let's jump in game, and I'll show you that. 
All right, now that we're in, ga in, the, in the game, I'm gonna drop down over here at Industries. I'm gonna show you how the, how the buy station works. I'm gonna show you how it's changed. This changed in season five. I mean, it may have been changed last season. I just didn't realize it. All right. Just grabbing some stuff before I get over. These bots like to just drop on your head. All right, so here, you'll see you can loot normally in the buy station, but if you take and you toggle off, you'll see you can use your mouse in the buy station now. So you'll just have to, you know, toggle is home or zero. So you may want to make a better key if you do it that way and probably have it on hold. So when you release, you can just hit crouch to exit like we normally do and be good. And that's pretty much it for the settings and uh, what's going on in the game right now. Uh, I'm going to end up playing. I'm going to play this out. So if you want to stick around and watch it, stick around and watch it. Shoot some bots. But yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Get out there and have fun. Hope this help, helped all of you. Lined up right here, just gave me three kills. Awesome. And they're free kills anyway. Spots, right? Not everybody you run in here is a bot though. There are real teams in here, so I mean there's a chance I could get killed. I got some left and right recoil on it. See, if you center your aim first, you're more likely to hit them. If you don't center your aim right at first, you're going to be off a little bit. That's a real guy. So. Good money, buddy. Got enough for loading. So yeah, navigating the buy station normally is just with WASD, if you're new to this, and then space will select. In your menu here, it's the same thing. Oh wait, it's another... I'll pick who I got on. I can't... Oh, directional pads. All right, so something else has changed. So when, you, when you're in your bag, you need to use the the uh, kill streak bind. The kill streak bind will go left and right. Melee will drop all, which is on side mouse button. And space will drop singles if you need to drop some, uh, just a little bit of cash. Yeah, that's what happens when you use D-pad though. You just gotta, you gotta navigate with your controller buttons, which is gonna be, it's three in my configs is a kill streak button. So three to go right. If you wanna go down, you'll use ping. Which is if you want to go down to the ammo, which a lot of times you don't have to. There's so much ammo in this, you don't have to worry about it. But yeah, uh, left all is ping. It'll go down to the ammo if you need to. Playing BR is probably more important than BR. You run out of ammo more the longer distances and stuff. I 
could have finished that guy if I kept shooting. Bots are really easy to shoot out there. They fly so slow. your gun with very little recoil the aims right now seems to be hidden i picked up the gold one off the ground a couple times and it's pretty ridiculous it's like really really accurate and they buffed it too along with this gpr i'm using it got buffed and the c9 got buffed again the smg i'm using so it's it's good right now just got that left and right recoil to it it can throw you off sometimes That's a real guy. That might have been a real guy too. I am in quads. I'm solo queued in the quad, so there there might be a full team of real players here. That is a real guy over there because he's in the bots pretty hard. It's a real guy that came up on me right there for sure. Not his teammate. Those are two real teams on prison right there. Pretty much how you know is, is they're beaming you harder than the bot. The bots will, will basically go with your movement. They might break your plates if you're moving real fast on them or if you're standing still, but typically they shoot and then stop shooting, shoot and then stop shooting. I mean, most of y'all are going to know all this. I'm just talking. So I'm gonna have to really buckle down on them. If it's the last team, I'm just gonna let them win. Whoever's last. Don't really care about casuals too much. I'm not hearing this. Turn my sound up. It's up top. Oh, that's a real guy. Wasn't up top. He's coming up the stairs. guy. Didn't show me his teammates. He's so respawning back in. He's up top. Bot's teammates are over here. Like all perks are there. Got plenty of UAVs. We're disabled too. Oh, I thought about three. Uh, 
down, so you kill Bunny. Uh, this might be real guy. Look like he bought something. Actually, and bots might act. Yeah, bot, I guess bots do buy stuff. Might have a kill streak or something. That's why it's on. Or I can believe. One, one enemy UAV. They're probably over there at tents, I imagine. A lot of times when you come back to these crates, they very rarely spit out money. Are just better bots or what? Or, you never know. Some people aren't as good as others. No, I didn't want to kill the last guy. I didn't want to win, man. I was oh man. He killed the guy right there. He killed, the, he killed the guy and I killed him. <laughs> I would have let him win, bro. <laughs> no. Oh, well. Well, that's it, man. I appreciate anybody still sticking around. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Much love. Don't forget to show other people some love. Not enough of it in this world today. Peace out.